over here we're gonna make these money amounts 39 cents and these others here use one quarter that helps us we need to use one quarter so again i just draw my coins like this that's my quarter now what else will i need pause the video and try it yourself 25 and then i'll take a dime 10 cents so that's 35 right and just some pennies needed after this Use two quarters for 62 cents. Two quarters, okay, that's quarter and that's a quarter. How much did they make together? 25 and 25. Think of it as 20 and 20 making 40. Five and five makes 10. So 40 and 10, 50. There's 50 cents there. I need 62. So 10 more, that's now 60. And then two more. Penny and penny. 71 cents. That's pretty close to this one. We use two quarters again, it says. Quarter and quarter. Now that is 50. Then 10 more, 60. 10 more, 70. And then just a cent. There we go. Use three quarters. Okay. 25. And 25, that's 50. You remember that, right? A third quarter, how much is it in total? These are 50 and 25 more. Think of it this way. 50 and then 20. That's 70. And then 5. 75 cents right there. So how much more do we need? Just 3 pennies, 3 cents more. That's it. And lastly, 84 cents. What would it be? Think about it, pause the video, and try to solve it yourself. Again, I'll use three quarters. And that was 75, right? 75. Now, would I use a 10? 75 and 10? 85. That, no, no, no. I can't use that. That's too much. So therefore, I will just use a nickel. 75 and 5 is 80. Yeah, and now I just need my four pennies. And all done. However, for many of these, there could be a different way of doing it. For example, here, if you have 10 and 10, two dimes, you could use nickels instead, right? You could use here, instead of, instead of one dime, you could use two nickels. So that's a different way of making it. Same here, okay? What's that, Matthew? Oh. Shopping? Yeah, he, he wants to go shopping and buy some blueberries now. Okay, well, we'll let you. Well done with this lesson.